Hey everybody, Mr. Catface here, and it's uh, time for another death battle. Today we have Naruto from Naruto and Ichigo from Bleach. Now, I really know nothing about either of these characters, but, uh, you know, you go back to it anyway. Uh, yeah, I got one thing else for this intro. Um, I am, uh, usually I record this a bit earlier in the day, but uh, I was really tired today, because I spent all night, like, last night. No, wait, sorry, the night before that, streaming, I got zero sleep either day. Uh, also, if you were in that stream, thanks for watching. <laughs> you made no money. Anyway, <laughs> it was for extra life, it was a lot of fun. Anyway, let's get watching. Let's get this reaction started. The Holy Shonen Trinity, the Big what? Three. Any longtime reader of Shonen Jump will recognize these, some of the biggest titles in manga and anime history. Oh, and it's time okay. for two of those Shonen heroes to throw down. Naruto Uzumaki, Ninja Prodigy of the Hidden Leaf. And Ichigo Kurosaki, the enormously powerful Soul Reaper from Bleach. He's Wiz Nine Boomstick. Uh, and yeah. it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Ooh. Animation. Konoha, the village hidden in the leaves, is a pretty quiet town. Not what I'd expect for a city full of ninja. Still, there was at least one troublemaker. It's the ninja, the wouldn't it be quiet? Number one knucklehead ninja, Naruto Uzumaki. I'm home, everyone. Naruto Uzumaki has returned to the hidden leaf village. Orphaned at a young age and ostracized okay. by his peers, Naruto may have been mischievous, but he had great aspirations. His goal was to become the town's Hokage. Which is a fancy word for ninja governor. The only way Naruto <laughs> could have such a prestigious position was to excel in ninja school. Like ninja Harry ninja Potter. School. Though he should really <laughs> ninja place Potter. that'll teach him not to dress like a clown and run like a real human being. What does he think he is, an airplane? Actually, his posture likely decreases wind resistance, which could be beneficial oh, when the hedgehog. speeds where angular momentum is a smaller factor. I remember when you ran like that in middle school. Hey, that was for research. Sure, Wiz. Anyway, well, Naruto hey, he has Wiz in the middle school, it's pretty he cool. He still tried his hardest to reach his goal. But first, hey, he had hey, to learn how to control hey, his chakra. In was that Sasuke? Ideologies, uh, he was just in, uh, Rewind Rumble. Gates within the human body which can be opened to achieve enlightenment. But the ninja in Naruto's world had a slightly different interpretation. Oh say, they weaponized it. Naruto can use chakra for all oh. sorts of flashy attacks. He can heal himself, seal monsters away, walk up walls, or even stand on water like a ninja Jesus. None of that He's stuff's attacks. That's of all techniques. techniques. Or jutsus, and even developed a few new ones of his own. <laughs> His signature move is the Shadow Clone Jutsu, where he can copy and paste himself over and over and over again. Unlike the Control standard Control clone Control technique, Control Shadow Clones are tangible with their own combat capabilities. By dividing his chakra between himself and his clones, it's nearly impossible to distinguish the real Naruto from the fakes. And he can get pretty tricky when he makes thousands of them. But when strategies can't save the day, he can always just beat his opponents down with the Rasengan. By spinning chakra in his hand, Naruto creates a compact ball of energy which can blast through solid stone. While the Rasengan okay. usually takes years to learn, Naruto figured it out after training for just over a week. He's invented more Rasengans than Willy Wonka's invented candies. But his tough pick <laughs> is the Rasen Shuriken. By combining the Rasengan with the element of wind, he uses it to turn the spinning ball into a spinning blade. This baby can trap you in a vortex of wind so sharp, That's it'll pretty powerful. you up at a cellular level. Naruto has Ooh. plenty of other techniques up his orange sleeves, including summoning, substitution, and transformation jutsu. He can even transform into a... Okay. Uh, a naked woman. <laughs> but why like though? He's been studying. I guess that's one but why though? You don't need to worry about anyone walking in on you. While most individuals have chakra, everyone has a limit. The more physical and spiritual energy one possesses, the more chakra they'll have at their disposal. Just like the gas tank from a chainsaw. Thanks to his heritage, Naruto already has a great deal of chakra. Even still, he has far more than he reasonably should. All thanks to the beast within. Yeah, he's got a monster in his stomach. 
Let's backtrack a few years. On the day of Naruto's birth, his village was attacked by a chakra beast known as the Nine-Tailed Fox. A monster so destructive, a mere swing yeah. of its tail could level a mountain. It's a fire type, by the way, she should water. The Hokage at the time sacrificed himself to split the Nine Tails in two, sealing one half within his own son, Naruto. So his first ever birthday gift to his son was a giant pet fox that can destroy cities? <laughs> I wish he was my dad. Eventually, Naruto discovered how to communicate with the Nine Tails. They didn't get along at first. Fuck. Uh, back on track. Sorry. Communicate with the Nine Tails. Yeah. They didn't get along at first. Foxy would threaten to eat Naruto, Naruto would whack him over the head with a big shrine gate, you know, typical roommate drama. <laughs> Still, they eventually became friends, and Naruto learned the fox's name was Kurama. Afterward, Kurama willingly shared his chakra with Naruto on a regular <coughs> basis. And as a being composed of chakra, Kurama's reserves are gigantic. With so much power at his finger. N what not why? Naruto can enter a bunch of different super forms. First up is Sage Mode, which sounds like something he'd learn from an old wise man or wizard, right? <laughs> nope, he learned it from a frog. This state increases all of Naruto's physical abilities. Furthermore, Sage Mode allows Naruto to perceive the entire area around him and tap into naturally occurring energy via Senjutsu. He can enhance his chakra attacks by adding natural energy, but if he's not careful, he'll turn into a frog. No, I'm, I'm not kidding. With Kurama's chakra, Naruto can enter multiple tailed beast forms, which drastically increases physical prowess and energy okay. output. Best of which is the Nine Tails Chakra Mode. Flame on! Mm -hmm. It got even better when he befriended Mr. Fox, upgrading to the stronger, faster, tougher Kurama Chakra Mode. Chakra Mode grants Naruto extra protection, a sense for negative emotions, and the ability to create additional chakra arms. Whoa, that's a lot of hands. Mm -hmm. Gotta wonder what kind of things he does with okay. those, right? Like he's doing the same side. Extra maneuverability, creating rocks and shurikens, the works. Yeah, that's not what I was. Ah, creating that hand. He can also <laughs> shroud himself in a nine tails sized avatar and use Kurama's ultimate attack, the Tailed Beast Bomb. So destructive, it can level a mountain range. That's pretty powerful. And for his final form, it's spoiler time. Spoiler and time, because I don't want to cast you guys to go away if you want to. Oh, this chakra stuff started with an alien named Kaguya, who ate a fruit which basically created chakra. Later, she got all murder happy, so her son stopped her. One of these sons, the Sage of Six Paths, had his own son named Ashura, and Naruto is a reincarnation of him. So yeah, Naruto's kind of <laughs> alien. Through this connection, Naruto was gifted the most divine form of energy, Six Paths Chakra. With it, he can enter Six Paths Sage Mode. His strength gets boosted even more. He can fly, and he can use truth-seeking balls, which are orbs of chakra that can transform into weapons and destroy anything they touch. He can combine all these forms and uh. further add natural energy to his Kurama avatar to form Six Paths Ashura Kurama Sage Mode. Woo. Good God, that's a confusing amount of forms. Yeah. Anyway, Naruto is also an expert in hand-to-hand -hand combat and could run faster than the eye could see when he was just 12 years old. He's dodged a lightning speed punch from the fourth Raikage, a feat considered comparable to his father, who could teleport. He even dodged this light speed loogie. According to the fourth data book, this light fang attack does indeed move at light speed over 670 million miles per hour. Okay. He's tough enough to survive getting stabbed, have his soul ripped out, or get smacked in the face with a beam that can slice the frickin' moon apart. Oh, oh, oh. The moon. He's fought the moon is dead. Once, lift a statue weighing several hundred tons, survived a fall from the clouds, Gone toe to toe with invisible limbo shadows. This, this and looks really powerful. I, I mean, I don't know about Ichigo, but his chakra is so right. tough he can power through Amaterasu. Amaterasu? Fire jutsu with As in like Capcom, so Amaterasu? The dog? The dog? He can even make new eyeballs for blind people. What's up with that? Oh, and in his final fight with rival and possibly closet boyfriend Sasuke, their opposing what? power was so great they obliterated miles upon miles of land, what? changing the weather and disintegrating a lake. Only then, after defeating Sasuke, saving the world from Kaguya, and reuniting the split halves of Kurama, Naruto finally achieved his dream and became Hokage. But he's still pretty dumb. <laughs> I mean, he named his son Burrito. Boruto. 
Yeah, come on. I'm very down. I'm not gonna run away. I never go back on my word. That's my ninja. My ninja way. Uh, that's pretty. It's pretty uh, pretty impressive. Uh, Shinigami. It's a line up there, friend. It may sound like a foreign word to some, okay. but you all know what no, it is. No, I don't. The Death God, the Grim Reaper oh. of Souls, and the seventeen-year-old Ginger with a badass sword. Ichigo okay. Kurosaki seemed like a pretty normal kid growing up, doing well in school and learning martial arts from his father. Except there was one little oddity. He could see ghosts. Oh, I see like dead people. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> exactly, I just said that. Uh, that. That's a great... I hate having to stop this every time. Oh my goodness, it's so annoying. Anyway, here he is. Young Ichigo noticed what he thought was a girl about to also, fall into a river. Also, Ichigo so is one inch taller than Naruto. Like that's gonna be important. Except it wasn't really a girl at all. It was a hollow, a monster spawned from an abandoned human soul, and it promptly killed his mother. Bummer. Oh. Reminds me of how <coughs> my poor mama boomstick. Oh, she always hated that ghost in the barn. Right. Well, Ichigo remained ignorant of the truth until years later, when he met a woman named Rukia, who held the illustrious job title of Shinigami, or Soul Reaper. A guardian of the dead who keeps balance in the universe by helping those who have passed move on to the afterlife. Otherwise, okay. they turn into violent hollows. And if you show up late to work and it doesn't work out, the Soul Reaper can always cut hollows down with their awesome swords, like samurai ghostbusters. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, the two of them got into a bind, and Rukia had to share some of her power with Ichigo. Turns out, he was a surprise Soul Reaper all along. Convenient. <laughs> when accessing his Shinigami power, Ichigo leaves his physical body for a new one made up of Reishi, or spiritual matter, which makes him invisible to anyone in the living world, despite still being physically present. And his new powers make him super deadly. He can move with blinding speed, cut through giant monsters with ease, survive okay. being punched through whole city blocks, and even fly okay, so Ichigo gets uh, scared of Naruto. Play this the air, stomp. using naturally occurring yeah. Reishi okay. as footholds. But let's get to the dicey part of his getup. That awesome sword. It's a Zanpakuto, a blade connected to its owner's soul. It may look like an oversized steak knife, but it's a Soul Reaper's best friend. Every Shinigami mm -hmm. possesses a Zanpakuto spirit within themselves, which manifests as their sword. Ichigo's is called Zangetsu. Well, both of them are. Oh, here we go. Strap in, because this shit's about to get crazy. <laughs> Strap Ichigo in. actually has two different Zampacto spirits drawn from his weird and confusing heritage. Alright, so long story short, Ichigo's a soul reaper because his dad is too. But he's also part Quincy, which is a human with crazy powers, because that's what his mom was. But he's also part hollow because his mom was possessed by a hollow called White, and White got passed on to him when he was born. Oh, and he's also part Fullbringer, but nobody cares about Fullbringer. <laughs> One of Ichigo's inner spirits is a manifestation of his Quincy side inherited from his mother, while the other is a fusion of his Shinigami power and the hollow. Unfortunately, okay. Shinigami and Quincy go together like oil and water. While trying to find a balance between these two sides, Ichigo learned plenty of neat techniques. Like his bread and butter attack, the Gatsuga Tensho. Jack's By concentrating his Reatsu, or spiritual pressure, through his sword, Ichigo can launch a massive slashing attack. Okay, uh, it's so a screw game. ordinary humans and then. Ichigo can charge it up, fire from up close, or even blast two of them at once. From his Quincy side, Ichigo has used Blut Vina a temporary defense which grants inhuman durability. From his Shinigami training, okay. he developed exceptional sword skills and learned Shunpo, or Flash Step, which greatly enhances his speed. But there's one really big deal we haven't talked about yet. What's that? Over the course of his career battling Hollows and protecting his friends, Ichigo has attained many, many different super-powered forms. Starting with the base Shinigami oh, form. Oh, how does that sound familiar? Despite essentially being Ichigo's base, this form is strong enough to block an attack from the Sokyoku, said to have power equal to one million Zampakto. The next step was. So, I, I don't know what Zampakto was. Ten years like. to reach <laughs> power, <but laughs> okay, this is crazy. Just two days, like a boss. When using Bankai, one's power can grow anywhere from five to ten times greater. And according to the official data book, while in Bankai, data Ichigo book. moves like lightning. Wait, why does his sword shrink when he goes Bankai? Shouldn't it be bigger since he's stronger? 
Technically, yes, but Ichigo can control its size to keep it more manageable. If Shinigami yeah. couldn't minimize their blades, some would have swords the size of skyscrapers. Awesome! Wow. Anyway, the hollow inside wanted a piece of the action too, so Ichigo gained a new power boost with a spoopy hollow mask. This form is strong enough to lift five iron pillars, each weighing me. nearly 100 tons. Though if he's not careful, the hollow can take control of his body, sending him into a violent berserker state commonly referred to as Vasta Lorde. Despite the lack of consciousness, okay. Vasta Lorde Ichigo could heal quickly and was strong enough to overcome Ukiora, who's powerful enough to nuke a city. After no some <laughs> training with his dad, Ichigo got a sort of second Bankai, which most people call Dangai Ichigo. In this form, he shattered mountains without even trying. He broke okay. through the black coffin attack, which distorts time and space, which sounds like a black hole. Yeah, right yeah, after that, okay. he survived a shot so friggin' big, the explosion could be seen for miles. By comparing this crater to okay. those left by yeah, real-life so bomb tests, I'd bomb tests. To have a yeah, okay, so this is, uh, of 814 kilotons this is pretty even. I don't know who's gonna win That's this like one, Ichigo actually. Ooh. 54 little boys Ooh. To the face. Ooh. 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 <laughs> no, 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 I meant, I meant the bomb. Now I'm gonna try. Uh, well, try as those little boys might, all it did to Ichigo was burn his arm. And he didn't even care. This guy isn't the type to give up. For his ultimate attack, Dongai Ichigo okay. literally becomes the Getsuga Tensho itself. I know that's confusing, but just roll with it. To summon the incredibly <laughs> powerful Mugetsu. Which busted up one of the biggest baddies in the whole series. But it also sacrificed all of Ichigo's powers. Well, that's a raw deal. But 17 months later, he managed to get them back with Fullbringer powers, which enhanced his physical abilities. But then he lost those two. It's worth noting that when he <laughs> Fullbring Shikai, his normal sword swings were as strong as his old Getsuga Tensho. But he still didn't give up. After training with some top tier soul reapers and eating some food which gave him Super Reatsu, the moment came. In the most epic quenching of all time, an entire sea disintegrated to form his new true Shikai. Complete with not one, but two Zengetsu swords. Finally balancing the Shinigami, the Hollow, and the Quincy within, Ichigo had reached his full potential. He tamed his Vasto Lorde form, merging it with his Quincy side. In this form, he can combine his Getsuga Tensho with one of the strongest Hollow attacks, the Grand Ray Sera. He also made a trip that normally takes a week in only 9 hours and 15 minutes. And last but not least, he achieved a brand new level of Bankai. Which was immediately crushed by some old dude who planned to destroy the universe <coughs> named... He what? You what? He what? It's probably inspired by the Hebrew name for God, Yahweh, and, and the katakana ends with a sharp k sound, so... You walk? Yeah, what you gonna do? Well, we can assume this one <laughs> is similar to his old... What the crap? physical speed and strength along with his Riatsu tenfold. Even without his bunkai, he still cut Mustache Man to shreds. And then he lived happily ever after. Until his kid became a Soul Reaper. Yeah, <laughs> what do you know, <laughs> bitch you go? What? No, it's Kazui. Uh, I might have got it mixed up with the other uh, enchilada kid or whatever. Eh, close enough. Now I'm Ichigo Kurosaki, substitute soul reaper, and I'm combining my powerful spirit Ooh. energy with this kind of the to protect my friends! Okay. Alright, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, did you know that Naruto and Ichigo are named after food? Maybe you can find them in your next bunch from Blue Apron! Oh, of course, Blue Apron. Okay, let's, uh, let's be right back. So let's talk about this death battle. So, um, I, this is a really close battle for me. I mean, like, this is, like, 50-50. I mean, Ultra does not fall under the toes like, the nine-tails, um, giant beast thing. But since Ichigo fights monsters that size quite often, I think he can handle it. Oh, also, overall, I just think Ichigo has the edge. It's kind of weird at first, since I think it's going to be a stunt for Ultra because he has insane stats, but, you know, Ichigo has equally insane stats. Because anime. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna go with Ichigo. This may be my first loss, I don't know. Because both the, the first one, Smokey Bear, uh, Smokey Bear was Griff the Crime Dog, that was pretty clear to me. I was pretty confident in my choice. Um, 
Wonder Woman Restore, I was kind of 50 by what I uh, just want of my instincts. And uh, for this night, I have no idea. I'm gonna go with you go. Let's continue watching this battle. Let's see if I'm right. I'm really excited. Let's see. Yeah, this fire mission looks uh, very good so far. Turn this up. Very nice animation looking. Is that go? energy? Is that all? No, Naruto, I sense a presence. Naruto, wake up. Oh, hi. He's <laughs> just gonna attack him. Whoa, he's invisible. He can't see me. Good. Wait, I suppose the that same people not in, like uh, well, not in, like not in the physical. You can't see him. Quit running, coward! But why are you tagging him to press buttons? Yeah. See, just because he's a bad guy, it's not real. Right now, oh god. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, she's not going to see him. Oh, that's the guy. Oh, she's going to. Oh my goodness. This seems to be a. Uh... A bit chappy, chappy, but yeah, oh, he's just like. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Go nine arms, so get over nine arms. Ooh, nine, 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 nine. What the crap? He's in the air. Oh, dude, I am. Yeah. Not I don't even know this one. I'm on you go. Well, I need to go. Why are you attacking to me? Like, that's my great shit. You're just like, this is no kidding. Just sit here. Also, I just realized something. It, this, no, no, it's like, oh gosh. That's not right. Is that the best you can do? He's not down yet, though. This is like, no, it's the final hole. Oh. Come on, Chico, you got it. You got this. Karama! Oh crap, what was that? <laughs> I actually don't know what that was. They both have so many forms, I don't know if it's the final forms or not. Oh, what's happening? Was that just like, that's the thing that was like, power thing without that was? I'm so angry that my recording cut out in the middle of the flight, but who cares? Uh, yeah, stick. That's gonna do a lot. Yeah, that stick really helps you there. Oh, that stick. Yeah, that stick really helps you. I don't know why you thought that was a slightly good idea. Who was that guy? KO! Damn! Even with all these powers, <laughs> the <laughs> what a badass! Sorry, Bleach <laughs> fans. I know you all really wanted to win, but unfortunately, this wasn't it. Naruto had better training, a broader arsenal, and a better healing factor. And Ichigo's invisible ghost buddy didn't really matter. Shinigami may be invisible, but they're still present in the physical realm and can be touched by normal people. Kurama can locate individuals by simply sensing their emotions, and Naruto's even seen his own soul before. And with six paths power, he could see and fight Madara's limbo clones, even though they were on a totally separate plane of existence. Also keep in mind that while Chakra and Reishi have fairly different uses, they both contain spirit spiritual energy. Let's talk speed! Naruto can dodge light speed attacks and can move faster than lightning. A lightning bolt's return stroke is 220 million miles per hour, about one third the speed of light. Ichigo has also displayed lightning fast speeds say that. and even greater. Near the end of the series, Ichigo took a trip that should have taken 7 days, but instead took 9 hours and 15 minutes. It's likely Kuriji here was referencing his accomplice's speed. Like Ichibei, who can knock his foes 2,440 yeah. miles 
away and appeared next to him in a second. Yuachi guy beat him by going twice as fast, so we'll use that as Ichibei's limit. With that, we can get the trip's total distance and conclude Ichigo's top speed is 319 million miles per hour. That's massively hypersonic, but yeah. not quite light speed. Still, there's a difference between travel speed and reaction speed, as Naruto's already shown. Comparing them directly, Ichigo's best reaction should clock in at around 970 million miles per hour, 40% faster than light speed and Naruto's reaction time. Alright, point for Ichigo! Yay. Speed alone wasn't <laughs> enough, though, especially since yeah, Naruto's okay. sage powers gave him superb field awareness, making it difficult for Ichigo to land a fatal blow. If he could even land something fatal at all. Ichigo has always had a tough time damaging foes who have stronger spiritual energy than him. With that said, let's compare his Ryatsu to Naruto's Chakra. Bad news is, across both of them, the only multiplier we know for sure is Ichigo's times 10 Bankai. The times okay. 10 is difficult to achieve, but for Ichigo's sake, let's assume he gets the maximum possible boost from every transformation. His other forms likely don't boost his stats this much. For example, when he used his Hollow Mask to barely overpower an Aran car, the situation and its results were similar to his then comparable Shinigami friends releasing their limiters, which gave each of them okay. a boost of times 5. However, let's give the benefit of the doubt and apply the maximum times 10 increase to all of Ichigo's forms that clearly increased his fighting potential, as well as stack them even though many forms were in separate unconnected power sets. For the sake of argument, we're deliberately overestimating Ichigo's power. Right. So here's our formula. But so basically, this was, this was a stomp. Okay. I was like, this was a stomp, but mask was on par with I think I just like Ichigo better. <laughs> well, nearly. Ukiora states his new form can destroy the city of Las Noches in yeah, the uh, keep world mind, of Keep in mind, this game I've never seen all throw beats in this case in the, uh... Well, there is a wall. Ha <laughs> ha! Las Noches is square in shape and better. takes three days to walk from one corner to a gate in the center of the wall. So it has a total area of 200,000 square miles. What are we doing again? I feel like it's like California, and destroying it in one go needs over 400,000 megatons of TNT. So plug that into the formula, and there you have it. Ichigo's Ryatsu is equal to over 440 billion megatons of TNT. Thankfully, Naruto's chakra level is much easier to figure out. His chakra was yeah, once okay. extracted and burst a hole through the hollow moon. In this he video. survived the explosion, and it was explicitly said that this was nearly all of his chakra. Most of his chakra has been siphoned off. By measuring okay. the aftermath from both sides, we found the blast to equal at least 480 billion megatons of TNT. 40 billion more than Ichigo. Yeah. And don't forget, we were deliberately overestimating him. Also, this was base form Naruto, not including any increases from additional modes. Which <laughs> allowed him to block an attack that I just cut got the moon in half, a force that had to be over 27 trillion megatons. This proves Naruto can both output and survive a blast stronger than Ichigo is capable of. If you're thinking, wait, Boomstick, Ichigo survived a black hole in a box. That move doesn't really work like a black hole. Plus, the 814 yeah, kiloton so Frager blast did hurt him immediately after, so it must have been weaker than that. But Wiz, weren't Kaguya and you Waka Waka Planet Busters? <laughs> Don't they scale to him? Nope. Kaguya's planet busting attack required chakra from nearly the entire Earth's population, not just her own. And while Yuok's power was pretty OP, he couldn't destroy the world through his own destructive capability. He only planned to manipulate the delicate balance between- That should be the last time I cut, so we only have about- we have like under a minute left. Okay, yeah. If one side gets too heavy, the whole thing comes crashing down. To sum it up, Ichigo had the speed, they both had the guts, and Naruto had the strength, durability, training, and abilities for days. Naruto sure got the shonen jump on Ichigo. Yes, that was the end the anyway. is Naruto Uzumaki. Let's go and next time. Okay, come on. D -D -D. Stick around, we're about to announce the combatants for the next death battle. D -D -D -D. And if you want to watch exclusive D -D -D. commentary on this episode, click that little box over there and start a first membership trial. You should try to grab one of these shirts, too. Ooh, what's that? I have no idea. Wait, was that Batman Beyond Spider-Man? Yes, it is! Batman Beyond Spider-Man 2099! Oh my goodness, yes! Oh yes, my, 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 uh, uh, yeah, a lot of it's death battle related. Right. Yeah, sure, that was a good episode, yeah, that was good. You guys are watching that, yeah. Also, I've listened to a bit too much of, uh, <laughs> Bad Lip Wind recently. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get to the ending of the video. 
Yeah, so let's start talking about the next time. Um, I knew from the second I saw those dancing people that I knew that was the Batman Beyond because um, <clears throat> uh, that's from Batman uh, Beyond: Return of the Joker. That's a great movie, absolutely fantastic. So yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. Um, yeah, uh, Spider-Man 2099 is from one of my favorite 3DS games. Uh, Spider-Man, uh, well, he's in one of them. Uh, uh, Spider-Man: Edge of Time. Now, Cartoon Fight Club did do this fight, and I'm pretty sure. Batman Beyond one. I think so. I'm not. I had to watch that. Either way, I love both of these characters, so that's gonna be a really awesome fight. Uh, about this, yeah, I got wrecked. I but that wasn't. Even, that was like a stomp. It's going to spin the car. No, to head. Uh, everything else. So yeah, um, I was wrong. Not too bad. Um, yeah, but I definitely think once I get my 3ds capture card, I want to do a let's play. On Spider-Man at the time. Fantastic game. I love that game. Anyway, this has been this Death Battle reaction. Hope you guys uh you know had enjoyed it. Um you leave a like. Why don't you subscribe too? I, I only do this every three weeks. <laughs> Death Battle can only come out every three weeks, but I, I do have character battle that I uh, uh I haven't even worked on that yet. Uh. <laughs> I feel like every video I make now I just mention how I've still yet to work on character battle. Having, having, having crossed my mind to work on it. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, so this is, I'm, I'm really excited next time, this is a great one. I wasn't, I wasn't too excited for this, because obviously it's, you know, two things I don't really know. It was really good. So yeah, um, this is going to be a pain in the butt to edit, because I have like seven parts. And then, yeah, uh, since the audio is always messed up, I have to literally take the audio from the death battle and sync it to the video, which is always a pain. <laughs> but, um, so I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, wait. I didn't say I forgot. Bye. <laughs>